Hello. How's it going? We have gathered here for a rare on-camera writings corner chat so that we could babble about our uh, forum leakage project. Nox, why don't you tell our uh, followers and readers and our... What did I say called? <coughs> <laughs> Our friends, <laughs> uh, what the forum leakage project is all about. Uh, okay, so w we've got a lot of stories that aren't, well, they're on the forum and they're not normally exposed to the glorious people of the universe. Um, but we, we've we decided that we should probably expose a few of them to the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've decided to tidy them up a little bit. This isn't like full-scale editing or anything like that. It's more a... Uh, tweaking it mm -hmm. safe for human consumption yes. and uh, to that end we've we started doing deja vu which is like a it's like a remix of a story that we originally did called taking flight i think on tucker nine it's like a i guess a remix is kind of the right word um well I, f I would say that it starts off as a, as a remix and then it descends into a whole story of its own or like a yeah. main, main story arc so it basically it, it redefines the uh, space opera theme of the of the Chaos Nova stories that had been going on until that point and it explicitly introduces the we're messing with reality mm -hmm. all bets are off kind of thing all bets are off, but in a set sandbox. <laughs> there are rules, it yo. <laughs> it sounds so simple when you put it like that. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, right now I have leaked from the forums, Deja Vu Part 1, scrolling on my screen for the viewers. Uh, maybe we should read a little bit of it. Not not like full scale. Uh, I think let's, uh, let's maybe save... Uh, reading the samples for another time but uh, but uh, if we can figure out uh, some excerpts maybe we can read them at the end at the end of the chat I mean yeah so uh, would you what would you say is like what's what's the good of all this um it's it's nice to work on the material again and it's mm -hmm. nice to be able to... And it felt like when it was just on the forum, it wasn't wasted per se, but it could have been seen by a few more people. Mm -hmm. Now we've exposed it to a few more people. It doesn't feel like it's just sitting in the backlog anymore, mm -hmm. doing nothing. It, people can enjoy this stuff now. And we had fun writing it, and we've, we've had fun rewriting it to a certain extent. Well, not rewriting it, but working it out and figuring it out. So it's yeah. been good. And also work process wise, what what would you how would you say in your words what has happened since we have started uh, doing the forum leakage uh, samples? Hmm, I think when we first started it was kind of like touching on little things and tidying up bits and pieces here and it was quite there were a few cringy bits, right? <laughs> it was it was really <laughs> cringy in some places. But um, I think that just, that I, I always say this, it just goes to show how far we've come in mm. such a short time, like writing Seeker and things like that have mm. improved things drastically around here. Mm. <laughs> and uh, seeing what was and then turning it into what is now, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's clarity, right? It, it makes yeah. more sense. Um, At the same time, we are ex we are very sort of, mindfully exercising the very skills that we need for, you know, proper writing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So, uh, for, for me, the for leakage offers a sort of low stakes, low expectations, uh, moderate activity, regular... It's, it's like, it's the regular bowel movement, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Brain bowel movement. Keep it, keep it, keeping things yeah. fresh. Uh, allow me, allow me to look up my quote. Why, um, why writing is like pooping. It's gonna 
it's going to require some Twitter scrolling, so bear with me. And basically, when I get to the quote itself, I think that's 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 what this project does. It gives us a uh, regular action with not uh, not too high bar. And by not worrying about the outcome so much, and like we're we're free of perfectionism in this, and as a result, the uh, the re the results are actually pretty serviceable. Yeah, I also I think this is sort of like a stepping stone, right? Mm -hmm. So if we if in the future we do actually turn Deja Vu into a proper book, we've we've done a we've done a bit of work between the forum version and the final book version to polish it up a little bit so it's easier for us to digest when it comes to that mm -hmm. <laughs> the digestion metaphors are, mm -hmm. are, are always there <laughs> that's good it's been good fun yeah we we got to later posts and i think i was i was trying too hard to sort of like oh hey we've got a new person here a <laughs> hey, new person be included and there was also a lot of stuff that was like, hey, check out all this exposition. And great uh, awkwardness was served that day. <laughs> mm hmm But we uh, we did a bit more of an in-depth work on, on those sorts mm -hmm. of posts. Um, uh, but I mean, speaking, it's... Yeah. Speaking of process, what the forum leakage also does, uh, for me personally, is that, well, for me, uh, in general, in creative process, I I suck at the two ends of the process. I suck at coming up with material, and I suck with uh, suck at proofreading. But the meddling and remixing and all the witcher's cookery in the middle that's 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 where I'm that's that's my jam. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, forum material provides enough raw material to uh, to sort of restack and uh, and remix and 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 reconfigure while on one hand uh, freeing me from from having to worry about uh, new material fresh ideas and that the, on the other hand we're we're not too fussed about uh, uh, about the uh, final text like I mean, mm -hmm. sure, we do a spell check, but we're we're not properly proofreading it or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, now that I have been reading some mm, some of the posts that we have uh, made on the website, uh, I have already picked up on some some misspelling and, and such. The um this this work process in general as well has helped us figure out our own work processes a bit better, mm -hmm. like. Uh, the the dirty text will be there, and then we'll discuss it for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then I'll start typing the notes that you give me, and then from there we create the better story. And I think that I think it's helped us um, focus our work. Uh, the co-op, <laughs> the co-op uh, is working. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a team building exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have I have come to the end of our media posts and now I will scroll up a little bit seeker 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 so everything that's scrolling on the screen now is seeker behind scenes snippets and this I just realized that the forum leakage is also granting us a sort of um, a good rebound from uh, from Seeker, so it's like we we put so much effort and so much uh, all sorts of tools and skills into finishing Seeker that it's actually good to you know work on something else, and again mm -hmm. that, that that's something else that doesn't have uh, very high stakes. It's nice and chill after Seeker. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, I found it. <clears throat> so, 
originally I said it to somebody else, but it applies to our everyday work as well. No, wrong window. No, 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 Twitter. Mm. This is not what I clicked. I mean, this is what I didn't mean to click. <laughs> I meant to click this. Yes, we are opening on screen. Right. So this is how creative work is a lot like pooping. Overall, there is more stuff going in than coming out. After gob gobbling up, shit needs to settle some before there can be tangible results. What comes out is hardly ever pretty, yet you can't help but feel a certain pride when it's solid. <laughs> uh, I think it's like point four. When you know it's there and not coming out, it's better not to press the matter, but turn your mind on something else instead. It can feel cathartic to deliver a big load all at once, but the regular, steady-paced, moderate portions make a much better process in the long run. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> yes, and so... Basically, this this is what the forum leakage project is giving us. It's it's giving us the uh, moderate portions of moderate work uh, with moderate expectations, and uh, and we get to practice in in the process. We get to not worry, not press the matters because nothing happens if we don't uh, if we don't work out a post. Uh, in time. I mean, we don't even have a release schedule uh, for this post, yet they seem to pop out with certain regularity, I would say. Yeah. Now, what was the other point? I had a point that I wanted to make, and now I forgot. Nux, keep talking. I'll take a sip of water. <laughs> I, I must, must apologize to all the viewers for sporadically going, going off camera. camera. So I can blow my nose. My best friend gave me a cold the other day. Um, there are better gifts to give if you're friends with someone. <laughs> but common cold is the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. This is the second cold I've had this year, and it feels like my immune system have left the B team in charge and just gone on holiday. Eh, they can handle it. Uh. <laughs> no, no. It's just the opposite. The common cold is your immune system. Oh. Because, uh, technically speaking, uh, whatever virus is bugging you is not serious enough matter to call on all the snot and shit. But uh, but it's like the overreacting SWAT team, like go 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 <laughs> no cough go snot go <laughs> and all that. Uh, okay, so work process was one of the things about forum leakage. Uh, story remix was the second thing. Uh, figuring out the main arc is also uh, an important thing. Ah, yeah, the the text work. So <clears throat> I'm I'm not proud of this or anything, <laughs> but sometimes when I when I read stuff that clearly has potential, but where the text is well, like it is, then <laughs> I am <laughs> I am. I am perfectly capable of reading something and actually getting angry at how the text works. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I remember w for with some of the uh, some of the forum posts back at the day, especially since I had already bought into the narrative that oh anything that we work on forum will end up as printed books one day. And uh, at the at the, at that time, I know that now. At that time, that was a beautiful lie, but <laughs> I bought into it. And uh, and I, I read the text on the forum and was like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, sometimes those, uh, uh, that process can be very counterproductive, but sometimes it can trigger the... Sometimes it can be a productive anger and you sort of jump in and you want to make it better. And mm. because I once bought into that beautiful lie, I have actually pushed certain things. And I, th I think uh, uh, getting so involved with Seeker as I did was kind of because of that. 
and also I wanted my beautiful snowflake of a player character to you know be shown to the world one day maybe Ooh. hopefully <laughs> and all that but yes so uh, while at the beginning of Forum League it's the, the plan was indeed that we don't alter much and that we only, I don't know, fix the most glaring uh, spelling errors and such. We pretty soon I, I found that we were streamlining sentences and fixing continuity and oh, retconning something that we later uh, like s certain world building aspects that we figured out later after these posts were made already retconning that and and sorting out the main arc and and you know smoothing everything out so uh, even though the intent is to uh, edit as little as possible we uh, we sometimes end up cutting a whole lot or like not presenting a whole lot uh, into the reading material and also some of the recent posts I think uh, are more like adaptations than uh, than actually just cut and paste. You touched on a, a point there for a second about the how some of the world building, like we had to retcon some of the world building because it was stuff we learnt later. Mm -hmm. And that's been another interesting thing to sort of implement, like cutting chunks because it didn't make any sense because we... Mm -hmm figured it out later kind of deal and that, that's another interesting aspect of this workload derp what's up uh, I poured water um, <laughs> uh, past my mouth trying trying not to uh, not to give a mouth to mouth to the bottle because I think it's gross uh, I usually just pour the water into my mouth but right now mm. I poured it past it <laughs> so, uh, so dear viewer if it wasn't already clear we are not the cool kids definitely <laughs> 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 not but, but yes not back, <laughs> back to the mm. past the water leakage and back to the forum leakage so yes we are uh, right now what we're also doing is we are preserving the original forum posts as they are like we're we're not altering those whoever posted what will remain as it is but we are now generating new material based on that so uh, depending on the post we sometimes work with the uh, material or text from three four sometimes even five people and and some of the recent posts actually do have uh, uh, do have sections from different people's posts. So there is one task or one one adaptational uh, thing that we've been doing is to sort of uh, unify it all. And yet it doesn't feel like hard work. That's that's the. That's the, that's what that's the point that we get back to after everything. It doesn't. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier before I was caught off guard by a cough. <laughs> after Seeker, Seeker was pretty intense, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but the projects we've got going on now, like the short stories and the forum leakage, they're they're so much less intense. You can take them in small chunks, mm -hmm. like the short stories are self-contained things mm -hmm. we discuss them we figure it out you do the hack and slash slice and dice and then we come back to them and figure it out and it's, it's similar with the forum post like we we'll spend one session sort of like making the notes and tidying things up and that mm -hmm. and then we'll let it simmer for a bit and come back whereas with with seeker it was very full on mm -hmm. and, and this is a nice change from that and i think when we go back into doing taking flight or whatever the next the next big book mm -hmm. um I think we could take lessons from both, like from mm -hmm. Seeker, short stories, all of that, and meld it into what will be the best mm -hmm. work solution for taking flight, because that's quite an important one. Um, but it's good because I've already, I already know, and I, I, I say this at the start of every book that we work <laughs> on. I know now that it, the, the first draft that I've written 
it it is going to get torn apart. It is going to mm-hmm. get cut up. It is going to get reduced back into notes for the most part that we're then going to build up from again. So, I mean, there might be some old stuff that stays, but I've realised not a lot of old stuff stays. <laughs> like, um, what was it? We were doing Escape from Caressa, and after we sat and discussed that for a while, <laughs> it was like, well, the layout of the city is kind of wrong. You kind of want to... Because it's future city, obviously. Mm. It's not built with, like, roads and western view in mind. So that was one big change. And then you had, like, tri- have... Um, Lion treat it like it's or have us treat Lion like when he wakes up it's like the start of a game for example Mm -hmm. it's like the safe area in the game but he's then got to venture out to get certain things so that was another sort of major change and then there was all the stuff with Daisy and the guys underground and everything so my first draft didn't actually there were ideas from the first draft that made it but really it's just a case of chopping it all out writing down the notes occasionally using some old stuff um but as an author, that's great for me because it's a skill I needed to learn, like taking criticism. And I, I could sit here and talk all day about criticism, <laughs> vis-a-vis the fight scene in Seeker and things like that. Um, vis-a-vis, ergo, <laughs> concordantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Et al. Um, but yeah, the, the results speak for themselves, right? I think I was nervous beforehand like when it came to the Seeker fight scene. I thought I'd done a fantastic job. And then you broke it down, rebuilt it, and the results speak for themselves, right? It's easier to follow. It's, I think the readers are going to enjoy it more. And when you when you compare the two, mine was just a bit of a mess. Like it was really hard to keep track of. Um, so yeah. And look at you! Last time when we were working on a forum uh, forum leakage post, you were volunteering bits for cutting. <laughs> <laughs> There yeah. are there are some occasions where you look at the text and it's oh my god this makes me cringe so much it hurts my back. Uh, we need to get rid of this. Sometimes I see stuff like that and I'm like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, other times I am happy to cut stuff now. Yes. Good influence on me, thank you, Lord. <laughs> and uh, and now working on these samples, we have come up with uh, our own handy terms for stuff. So okay, first draft or 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 dirty text is uh, now dirty text is not actually the first draft. Dirty text is what you get after uh, after uh, outlining or 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 mapping the goals based on the first draft. Yeah. But uh, but uh, we ca- came up with the handy term of hammy draft. So. Uh, what we're doing with the forum samples is we are not aiming for the full uh, marketable reader-friendly text but we are aiming for the hammy draft the uh, the stuff that you would read happily that you would recite happily in a circle of friends uh, around a tabletop game and it flies but it's, it's just a little bit more coherent than than just somebody's notes Mm-hmm. So that's that's the goal here. And talking about terminology as well, uh, that's that's the terminology for our sort of drafts and things like that. But there's also another language that's developing itself in the documents themselves. Like da 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 seems to be a very common placeholder. Uh, something something is another one. There are some golden ones that I can't remember off the yes, top of my head. Yes, our yeah. our placeholders are very important. The mm-hmm. uh, the universal placeholder is the da da Then uh, something something is like a uh, technical sort of placeholder. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. some, something something is when somebody says something specific and you know there's a beat and you don't you don't have it yet, but <laughs> yeah. you know it's coming. <laughs> and uh, and when you need to get technical, then there's do that. Yep. <laughs> do that's the classic. <laughs> Do that all the way. So yeah, it's been good. It's been yes, it's been good. Right, I think we have given a very concise and uh, and and handsome view of what our forum leakage project is about. You can also uh, see 
the names of our glorious players slash uh, co co-conspirators on the screen right now. The legends. And legends. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna can this recording and we can mm -hmm. do a next one reading some of those samples. So stay tuned for that. But until then, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.